Hair's looking good, everything as you guys like it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, so what, what are your thoughts on this production of Tom um, it has. I was worried it was going to be feel a tiny bit regressive to go back to something that was almost 15 years old, and it has been s such an uninterrupted joy um, and such a great investigation with Oliver and Michael. Um, and the play is is clearer and stronger and simpler than ever to me. And that a huge part of that is Michael's performance, which is just off the charts. Uh, it's just a marvel of humanness, what he does on that stage every night. And I, I've never, to sit with, I've seen the thing 23 times, something like that. And I've sat with 23 different groups of 300 people. And the response, it, it, it's, it's, a different, it's a different conversation every night. But it's this really, really beautiful pitched silence that 301 people create together that I, I've, I've never really experienced the, the kind of depth and the piercing silence of the thing or something like that and then there's just this this real pretty uproarious I mean it's a really really funny show it's the it's I don't know that um, this to me is is it's the it's the it's kind of the fullest and most complete expression of the play for me um, and it's really funny and really devastating and it's it, it's it's I just have never seen acting like that so that's it's just been, it's been great to be back at Signature, too. Uh, but so it's been a blast. Tell, tell me more about what the experience of working with Michael on this is and what it is watching him, as you said, every time. Yeah. Um, so what Michael Hall is doing with this play that I just haven't seen to this extent is he's found this incredibly, um, this incredibly disciplined and rigorous approach to certain aspects of it. And then he's found these huge areas of freedom and wildness that are really unnerv unnerving and um, a l it's not quite panic attack provoking for me and for maybe others. Um, but it's, it's mainly j just that, that combination of the two things that he can do so that he can, he moves so slyly from part to part. Um, and he, he really um, f fully expresses without um, of course, saying it, that this, this notion of a person who's trying, desperately trying to integrate the different parts of himself, the different sides of his brain, the different parts of his story, um, the idea of the individual and the group and the mob, you know, um, all these things that for me, that's what the play always was about, was just this person who's got these st strands of a life, like we all have, and trying to, trying to see if they put the kind of with, like with clay, trying to clump it together and does it stick, does it stay? And he, you know, he's trying to tell this story while being interrupted by all these feelings and being re revisited by past memories and, and the audience and people in the audience and someone wearing a, a shirt he might have, uh, his same shirt and all, all this stuff. Um, and so Michael just does it in this way that is so unbelievably, on the one hand, uh, uh, um, uh, I don't even, just it, it disciplined, rigorous um, driving, and then there's just this freedom, and it goes second to second to second. It's, it's not like this part is, it, you know, it's just all over the place, and it is, again, like nothing I've ever seen. Mm. And what, what have, you talked a little bit about the audiences, but what have they been, how have they been responding to the show? Um, there's been such a gorgeous, gorgeous response from people, and, and most of it I just know from just the, 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 the feeling of the applause at the end and the feeling of the pitched silence it, at, at various points in the play. But one really, really wonderful thing from the other night, um, uh, our uh, assistant director, Bana, her mom came to see the play, and her mom grew up, I believe, in Ethiopia, and just was a wonderful really, it was great to meet her, and Bana has been a wonderful person work, to work on this with. Um, but she, Bana's mom, said, uh, this, is, this is my life, this is my exact life. And I, I could not have felt more, it just made me feel so happy that someone, I just, I know because she's a woman, and she is a mother of two, I'm a father of one just recently, but growing up very, very far away and a very different place and a different experience, it made me feel so good that that, 
that this thing spoke to her in such a simple, clear way. And that's a huge credit. That's what Michael is doing, I think, is making this thing, on the one hand, both so specific to him, but I think it is just, there's an openness and a, a humanness that I think people are, all kinds of people are really, really identifying in a really, really great way. A um, little bit more women than men, I've been saying, this this is exact. This is my experience of humanness in life, and the the fight between the mind and the heart and the body and the soul and all these things. And um, so it's just been that's been great. That's a lot longer than sixty seconds, <clears throat> I think. Um, but it, it it's been really really wonderful to have those conversations with people. And and like I say, I just cannot get over with with this play. It's my experience from before in various places, and I've worked on I've worked on. It with really good people. It just happens, I think, because of where I'm in my life and where Michael is and where Oliver is and the sort of ease of the conversation that we had and and my daughter having been born four and some years ago. Um, it really just has all come together in such a gorgeous way. And the the things I the things I was sort of lurching toward I see very plainly and it's been the, the rehearsal process has been so um, investigative and, uh, and and open and all that it it it, it um it just all has poof, it suddenly appeared and it is like nothing I've ever seen. What's Michael like as a person? Uh, Michael Hall, I'm so glad he's so funny in this show, and I'm so glad I, I, he certainly has a huge bunch of really really devoted and caring and loving fans. He's really people really latch on to that guy. Um, I'm, he's so funny in the show, and I'm really glad that people get to see him being, I think he's kind of, a, he is a comic genius and a kind of physical genius. He doesn't do cartwheels or anything like that, but it's, 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 it's so specific and so um, fine, the comic, the, the physicalization that he does. Um, W.C. Field's granddaughter was here the other night, and I was glad for those two to have a, have a chat. I don't know why, um, but to see Michael C. Hall and W.C. Fields' granddaughter. Um, and at one point, Michael's dog started to circle around behind Dr. Fields. Uh, she's a PhD. And so suddenly he was, she, th she thought he was trying to hug her, but he was just <laughs> getting his dog. But then he said, oh, okay, I guess we'll have a hug. And, um, but he, Michael, is uh, just about the most wonderful guy I mean, he's he's a true, true capital A artist, and he um, he is so devoted to the simple, pure act of the theatrical experience, and how the most important thing always is the 299 people in the room with him that night. And he's really good about. He, we don't really have. He's not had an off performance, but if he ever did, I know he would shake it off and say, for the sake of the next 299 people who are coming, I'm going to let that go and learn from it and press on. But really, really, truly, those two things, a really, really amazing human being, a truly amazing artist like few who I know. And what about Oliver? Not so great. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oliver, is Oliver is perfect. Oliver is a really, really great director. And it really, again, also, I just feel blessed. He's a wonderful human being and a, um, he, I think we both got a ton from Jim Houghton just from being around here and just just that both could really, I don't think we're even, we're not smart enough and it enlightened enough to see all the things that Jim was doing, but you could definitely, we both saw plenty of examples of his, his um, just responsibility, the way he took responsibility for things, the way he, approach things with both light, lightness and seriousness at the same time. And um, Oliver, um, I know Jim would be super, super proud of Oliver's work on this and all, also Oliver's work um, in, in social activism, which he's been really, really busy with. And, um, and we all just really get Oliver, Michael, and I, um, we're just find ourselves magically on this pretty similar wavelength and we also all like to chuck a ball around so we sp we'd spend 10, 15, 20 minutes or more every rehearsal just kind of throwing a ball around and talking through things or not talking through things and um, 
So that's another crucial piece of the thing that I, I think um, with Oliver as the director, I think that has really helped Michael to feel both completely supported where he needs to be supported and also just kind of free and a little bit in good and bad ways loose, kind of cut loose a little bit. So I think he feels the, um, he said it so well, Michael did the other day, um, you know, there's a baton and if you drop the baton, it just sits there on the, <laughs> there's no one, there's really no one there and it just sits on the stage and then you pick the baton back up. And um, so that has been another really, really alchemic, if that's a word, sort of thing where it just, it's been really, really great.